All right, this video is going to be showing you how to use a stealth account if your eBay account gets shut down. All right, so this is it. If you look in the background, this multi-login app is kind of where it all starts. So you can think of this app as an emulator. Everything that you do within this app has its own IP address, and it's going to be separate from your computer's information, right? Because when you have an account that's gone shut down, your account has been, your IP address has been flagged along with your email and some other things. So in order to make a new account, you have to do everything separately and not make any links between the information that you've already provided with the account that got shut, right? So let me show you a little bit about this. And if you want to purchase um, a Stealth account, I have contact information below in the video description. It's $200, and the account comes with a 1,000 quantity limit and a $25,000 limit. And if anything happens to the account, like if it goes down or whatever, there's warranties, and you can contact them, and they'll fix all of that, right? So let's get into how to use this app. So you'll need this multi-login app, which you'll be able to download. And then each one of your accounts will show up here. So you can have multiple accounts, whether you're, you know, trying to work with different sources or whatever it is. Right now, I only have this one account, and this is going to be what I'm doing to try and pay off my eBay bill, right? The idea here is use this account, earn some money, applying everything that I learned from posting all of those tens of thousands of items, and then see what happens, right? All right. So let's start. To start, you click on this little button here, and you gotta make sure there's two main things, well, three actually, three things to keep in mind when you're using a Stealth account. One, do not change the size of the window. Um, your resolution is kind of bookmarked, right? So you wanna make sure that you're not changing it because that'll flag the account, and then, long story short, just don't do it, okay? Second, never exit minimize or full screen this for the same reasons. You want to always click this button here to close the session. This is gonna save everything that you're doing and make sure that when it loads, it you know works properly. So keep those two things in mind. And the third thing is, until you kind of establish your account, you don't wanna post items that cost more than 50 bucks. If you, you can, but doing so will increase the chance of the account getting flagged and that's kind of the whole point that you're using account is to be able to just post items, right? So stick with cheaper items. This is something I encourage people to do anyway because cheaper items have less problems. I'm not saying that you can't earn money off more expensive items, you definitely can. You can earn a lot of money, but you're also gonna come across exponentially more stress and work, right? So make sure that you're able to deal with all of that. All right, so now let's get this loaded and then show you what is going on. So for me personally, I only need to be able to post to an eBay account. Um, this actually comes with a PayPal account, a Gmail account, Yahoo account, and some other stuff. I only need the eBay account, so I don't use the rest of the stuff. That being said, I can do this because I already have an established PayPal account. And so I can link my PayPal account to this eBay account. And you don't want to use the exact same email address um, because then eBay will know it will establish a link to your other account. So all you do is just add a new email address to your existing PayPal account and then add that to your eBay account, right? So we can look at the eBay account here, right? Here's the account, starts with zero. It's like a new eBay account basically, right? Woohoo, look at all this. And let me show you the account limit. So you can see the account limits here compose 1,000 items or $25,000 amount. And I'll probably have to go through some kind of growing pains. There may be like category limits, that kind of thing. We're gonna learn about these as I continue the rest of the videos in this series, because this is the first video in this series. And as we keep going, I'm going to show you how I get feedback, how I post items and my strategies for all this, right? But now that we've done this, I think that's about it for this video. Um, so here's the account, I've explained where to go to get it, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to be using uh, Hydralister and posting items that way, using the single item poster from Hydralister. I'm going to be going through and using everything that I learned from bulk posting in order to see if I can be profitable. To show you guys, you know, alright, am I just full of crap, or do I actually know what I'm talking about? Now is going to be the kind of choosing period, right? <laughs> we're gonna get to see.
Alright guys, I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.